Do you ever wonder what happens when the police leave? Crime scene cleaners are private companies that handle the cleanup after the police are gone. Spalding Decon is one of the nation's largest cleanup companies handling the aftermath of homicides, suicides, decompositions, hoarding, and much more. These are our stories. He's been here about two, maybe three weeks. So if you look, he actually had fallen and passed away. Oh my god. It's kind of hard when you're, when you're cutting through the carpet and blood is kind of coming out as you're cutting through. Hey guys, we are here in Titusville on an emergency decomp I got. Uh, call came in about 9, 9.30 last night. And uh, he's been here about two, maybe three weeks. Uh, family just, they haven't, they haven't been able to get a hold of him, so they decided to do a wellness check and the brother and the nephew actually were the ones to find him. So if you look, he actually had fallen and passed away. These ones are a little more difficult to handle for us as a crew because you can physically see where they were. And our job is too big, so we're gonna go ahead and get our get our gear ready, suit up, and uh, get this cleaned up for the family so they can come in here and make arrangements and move on with their lives. It smelled so bad, like grays with blood, and the body was for two weeks in the floor, so this is smelling so bad. I'm gonna cut out the body at the moment and see what is underlying and how far it actually spread. Trying to get it all up in one piece, so that way there's not a lot left behind. This, this is, this is different. Go grab small bags. All right. That's a lot. Put it down. There you go. Oh, it's tripping. Bag one. For two weeks now, I'm glad the AC was on. <laughs> we are three hours from home. We left the office at like 5.30 this morning. This is just gonna draw any leftover body fluid. Yeah, you know like a handle. I wasn't expecting that. I mean, I'm grateful that it didn't go into the wall. Um, I'm super, super grateful that the terrazzo flooring was sealed. But it's kind of hard when you're when you're cutting through the carpet and blood is kind of coming out as you're cutting through. So easy because that blood is not in the wall. So 
almost done. This job is almost done. Yeah. I didn't think it to be wet like that. Like it's still, no, it's still watery. It's, it was easy to come up. Um, the carpet was a little, looked like it was a little bit hard to come up because it was soaking wet, but it looks like a fairly easy job. So we're getting ready to go into the room and we're going to use the HEPA vacuum, suck all the goodness up, try to uh, indicate, make sure that there's nothing else left. At that point, it didn't go into the walls, so we're safe there. We can turn around, we can sanitize the floor, remove any remaining carpet, rearrange the furniture. I'm gonna leave an ozone machine for a couple of hours just because it's so far away. We'll take a lunch break and we'll be good to go. Stay tuned. Estimated, and this is why you don't jump to conclusion. All under the base plate. He's coming. He's coming. Is a biohazard. Dun dun dun. So we have to remove the base plate, which is aggravating. We can handle it. So what I just did is I actually just flushed the base plate rather than having to cut it like you've seen in another episode. That just means that the biofluid didn't seep under enough to seep into the wood. That makes me super, super excited because that saves us like an hour and a half of work. Of course you would cough in the background. Thanks for watching season two. We hope you're enjoying it. Don't forget to like, share, and comment what you want to see more of. If you're subscribed to our YouTube channel, don't forget to ring the bell so that you're notified of new content every single Thursday. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.